It seems like the better planets we build. It seems like the better. It seems like the better telescopes we build, the more planets we find, and the more stars we find that are just like our own. We've recently gotten the news that there was once moderate water on Mars, and water can form on asteroids flying around in space, and we've got water here on Earth. So is it that far-fetched to find that there might be other life forms in the universe? SETI was a project to try and find them. Intelligent life forms that might be able to communicate across star systems and galaxies. The thing is, they never found anything. Why? Well, maybe they're just looking in the wrong places. These intelligent beings that would have the need to communicate over star systems and galaxies would never use uh, the powerful, undirected, broadcasted, uncompressed signal the electromagnetic single signals that we're looking for in the bands that we're looking for in photons. What they would what they would use would be neutrinos. Neutrinos weakly interact with matter. Neutrinos are a type of particle predicted by the standard model and has since been detected on Earth by detectors like the Super Kamiokande detector in Japan, or they're building a detector right now under the surface of Antarctica, called the ice cube. Neutrinos are very small particles that travel at nearly the speed of light. They can travel across the entire universe and, you know, would, would not be... I mean, what I mean is light. If you try to send a radio signal across from one galaxy to another one or something, things in its way would absorb it. If you put... imagine this. Imagine you have a block of concrete you know, five feet tall and five feet thick. And if you shine, if you shine the light on that concrete block, could you see the light from the other side of the concrete? No. If you shined neutrinos through that block, you would see the neutrinos come out the other side completely fine. Neutrinos weakly interact with matter, while photons get absorbed by it. We're not looking for neutrinos. We're looking for the type of communication that we use here on Earth. Or from Earth to satellites, which are not very far compared to what we're what we we're expecting to find. This, I believe, is why SETI has not found anything.